For a typical Flash production, you're going to have a lot of animated elements. And that probably means a lot of repeated steps, too. In this chapter, we're going to go back and take another look at constructing motion tweens just to see if we can make things a little bit easier. We're also going to take a closer look at symbols and see how they can help us in creating more complex animations. If you're using the file you saved from your last chapter, you're all ready to go. But if you're starting fresh like me, go to your project files on your desktop, open up Chapter 6, and open up Flash Site 6 Start. And the first thing I'm going to do is save this as our Flash Site. I'll just go up to File Menu. I'll choose Save As. We'll go to the Desktop, Project Files, and we're going to go to that Flash Website folder we've been using for all of our files. Now, if you've already got one in there, you can just overwrite it. If not, just call it Flash Site, and we'll save it. Choose Replace, and we're ready to go. Now, we're going to be continuing our work on our photographer's website, and in this chapter, we're going to be building up the Portfolio section. We've already got a good portion of animation, so let's just review what we have. I'm just going to hit the Return key, or the Enter key on the PC. That's going to hit Play. And we can see our camera icon comes in, our background, buttons, and our photo. Now the photo we're showing on the screen right now is going to serve as our home content when our user first enters the site. That means we need our portfolio content out past all of this animation. So we're going to need to make a little bit of room. I also want to make sure that each one of these icons and button labels stays on the stage. We don't want them going away during our portfolio. So I'm going to have to extend these frame spans out to that point. Let's just scroll out a little bit. I think about 200 frames should be enough. We can always extend it or shorten it if we need to. I'll click in frame 200 on the camera icon layer, and I'll just drag down to select all the layers in my timeline, including the ones inside the button layer folder. And we can just press F5, and we'll extend all those frame spans out to 200. Next, let's create a layer where we can place our portfolio. I'm going to go right up above the camera icon layer, so I'm just going to click right there. I'll choose the New Layer button, and I'm going to name that new layer right off the bat. We'll double-click, and we'll call it Portfolio Content. I'll just hit Enter, and let's scroll back a little bit so we can see what we're going to be working on. There's the end of our animation, and that's where our photo montage comes in. Now, we're going to want our portfolio content to enter the screen sometime after this. So, I'm just going to pick out frame 100 as a good point. I'll click over here on frame 100, and I want a keyframe where I can put my portfolio content. Now, since this layer is empty, I can press F7 or F6, because I'm going to get the same thing, a blank keyframe. And now we've got a place to put our portfolio. Next, let's go and get the content that we're going to be using for the portfolio. It's all located in the Chapter 6 folder. So I'm going to go out to File. We'll choose Import. And I'm going to go to Import to Library. I'll just go to the Desktop in our Project Files. Open up the Chapter 6 folder. And there you can see we've got a bunch of photos in the Photos folder. Now, we're going to want all of these, so I'm just going to click on the first one, and I'll shift-click on the last one. That way we can get them all at once, and I can just choose Import to Library. Let's go check out our library now. I'm going to pull this panel down so we have a little bit more room to see what's going on in here. And we can see that our photos were added. Now, as your library starts to fill up, it's worthwhile to keep things clean in there as well. We can organize and sort things by using library folders down here at the bottom. Let's create a new folder just for our portfolio photos. I'll click New Folder. There it is, all ready for us to give it a name, and we'll call it Portfolio Photos.